Tove's Morning Glory. Tove Bidelfart is a very good friend of mine from Norway, and she has a house in the south of France in Vance, one of my neighbors. And I would go walking every morning to get some exercise around the block down in the woods, and there was this bush of this morning glory vine that would travel up into this cypress tree. And I would just pick them and look at them, the velvety texture and the crumply, fragile, dead flowers and when they were little trumpets like this. And, you know, looking at the whole world, reducing it to a flower and looking at these every morning and I would say, oh, there's a trumpet. And the symphony would alert, it, alert me that things were happening inside of this bush or this vine and I would be going to Tove's house, so I just called, this was Tove's morning glory. And it was really just a celebration of this vine uh, with the flowers and the, the leaves and the petals and the textures and the different stages or metamorphosis of the flower from a bud to the open flower to the wilted flower to the crinkly death of the flower. And of course the textures and different fabrics and everything else goes into it. When I'm doing a piece and it's a, an aesthetic piece and I'm looking for aesthetics, I take the flower and this gives me my palette, the range of colors. And I try to keep the colors of the frame and everything else around it in the same harmony of colors. I mean, some artists, and perhaps I did at a time, look for disharmony. But after stopping drinking and smoking pot and doing all the things that kids do and started looking through India, through yoga, through meditation, through prayer, through going back to church and accepting the old rules and regulations of my life and weeding out the flower bed of my habits, uh, I thought that the harmony was so important and means so much to me. When I'm looking at the pieces, I, I feel at peace. I feel there's a certain amount of harmony going on. So this is just an homage to a very dear friend, Norwegian friend Tove.